This is Faith McDonald from the Institute on Religion and Democracy in my home office during the quarantine for the CCP virus. Hope that's okay, Bob. Um, wow. And uh, I am joined today by my brother in Christ and my good friend, Bob Fu, who is the head of China Aid and uh, was a former prisoner of conscience and faith in China. Um, and Bob is going to tell us about what's going on in China right now, um, about, about the virus, but particularly about what's happening to the Christians in China and, and that whole, whole situation. Um, we're also going to discuss something that's very important right now that is on President Trump's desk, and that is uh, that um, the president is is very seriously considering stopping the um, the pension plans of our U.S. military and government workers from in being invested in China in companies that are building advanced weapons systems, um, tracking people with uh, technology, spy technology, all those kind of things. But we'll get into that in a minute. First, I want to say hi to. Bob. And at the end of our interview, I have a great announcement to make as well. So, Bob, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you, Sister Faith. Uh, it's always a joy and a pleasure to work with you and uh, talk with you and fellowship with you. Thank you. Go right ahead, Bob. We want to hear um, what's the latest you've heard from China. I know you sent me some videos that we're going to post on our website, too. So, people, you don't want to miss that. They're, they're within the week of what's been happening to the church in China. But tell us something about that, Bob. Yes, Faith. Um, you know, the kind of uh, uh, persecution against uh, the, our brothers and sisters in China had been the worst since the end of the Cultural Revolution. Mm. Uh, there's no exaggeration. Um, since uh, you know, 1976, after Chairman Mao's um, the Cultural Revolution was ended, we have never seen the kind degree of persecution, the quantity of uh, cases of persecution has been uh, deteriorating to this level. Uh, the, literally, the Chinese Communist Party, led by the Emperor uh, President Xi Jinping, uh, has launched a war against the faith, uh, mm -hmm. especially the war against the Christianity. Uh, we have seen uh, at least over you know, a million you know, uh, Christian churches were banned and uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, churches, uh, their crosses were forcefully demolished, destroyed, and burnt. Uh, we have seen in the name of so-called uh, sinicization, uh, literally means um, any church who is uh, found not practicing uh, their doctrine compatible with communism and socialism, uh, is uh, deemed as uh, non-Chinese, uh, so not uh, the so-called sinicized. So in order to make them uh, look like Chinese, essentially it's like a, look like a communist style of church, uh, the church has to, uh, to sing the Communist Party's national anthem in the beginning of the church service. Mm. And uh, the, all the children under 18 years old, all the uh, college students, and all the medical workers um, are totally forbidden to even enter into the church building. And for the really first time since the Cultural Revolution 40 years ago, uh, those uh, Christian children are forced to a sign, a form uh, the Communist Party uh, prepared for them to renounce their faith. And unfortunately, even during this Communist Party, uh, CCP, uh, you know, a virus uh, pandemic time that the Communist Party uh, has been covering up, as we all know, um, they have not let go this uh, new wave of persecution. 
And instead, um, all the uh, cases reports we have received shows the Chinese uh, state security agents and uh, Communist Party departments are taking advantage of the pandemic and uh, by monitoring more closely against the uh, uh, house churches, the Christians, they are even forbidden to host a, a online prayer meeting like you and I oh, talking uh, through, uh, through online services. And um, the, those who are uh, gathering were uh, violently attacked, as I just um, um, you know, emailed you the video uh, the showing just uh, this past weekend on Sunday, uh, during the uh, uh, Sunday worship services, over 200 military police with the, the Chinese Communist Party's propaganda department, United Front Working Department, Religious Affairs Bureau officials from a East Coast city called Xiamen City. Uh, by the way, Xiamen City uh, look, is located in Fujian province, which is the, one of the first cities the foreign missionaries landed uh, in the 1800s. Wow. And um, so this church was uh, uh, violently attacked to those uh, armless, peaceful brothers and sisters while they were singing, you know, more like they, more like Jesus, those uh, uh, violent uh, attackers uh, just uh, grab those brothers and sisters and uh, push them on the ground and start beating them up. And one brother even had uh, his uh, ribs broken, mm -hmm. his arms and uh, his um, legs were all twisted and uh, wounded and had to be hospitalized. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of the vicious uh, kind of nature of Communist mm -hmm. Party China now. Mm -hmm. And they are essentially try to not only cracking down the independent churches, but also even the government sanctioned, supposedly legally protected registered churches. I was going to ask about that. I'm glad you mentioned that. So even even the uh, the three self patriotic churches are being cracked down on, huh? You're right. You know, faith uh, traditionally as our, you know, 20 plus years uh, of advocacy effort, you and I have been working uh, to, for the religious freedom in China. We usually knew the Communist Party didn't like uh, the unregistered, unofficial house churches, right? Mm -hmm. uh, who were not registered and uh, declared as illegal. Mm -hmm. But uh, under President Xi Jinping, uh, that is another new trend, a new feature that he would not even tolerate the government sanctioned churches if, the, if he found themselves uh, practicing uh, non-compatible doctrine with socialism. Wow. So the we preachers might be able have to, get to the love world the council. Communist Party first. <laughs> we, we might be able to get the World Council of Churches involved now, Bob, then, because they were the ones defending the, the patriotic uh, official right. church before, so maybe they'll join forces with us now. I hope so. I mean, <laughs> now, you know, the, even, oh, yeah, those uh, government sanctioned churches, the WC, mm. uh, you know, WC uh, used to, WCC used to use defend and work together as alliance had been under heavy attack. And some of the pastors working in the government sanctioned three self patriotic moment churches were even arrested and sentenced to 14 years oh. imprisonment for defining the order of uh, voluntary removal of the cross from the rooftop of the church building. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, Bob, ha have you heard anything about how the, uh, the virus is affecting the, the Christians who are in prison already, who have been arrested and are in prison? Um, you know, we're, we're asking governments all over the world to let the prisoners of faith out of prison, and even Iran has done that. But what about China? Well, I can share with you on that, uh, you know, even the government propaganda media, you know, the, under communist parties, the tight control had reported widespread of uh, coronavirus 
you know, uh, in the prison, in different prison systems. And some of the, even the government officials uh, were even fired uh, from, uh, who are in charge of the uh, prison uh, author I mean, authorities. And uh, so far, really none of the uh, Chinese uh, Christians who were sentenced or imprisoned uh, uh, had been released during the pandemic. And, um, but one thing uh, we should take some comfort is uh, we know uh, those brothers and sisters who are imprisoned and they have been uh, praying and, and even leading Bible study groups uh, in their prison cells. And they are the comforter uh, and their counselor uh, during this pandemic. I know like uh, the Epic Center of this uh, coronavirus the uh, Wuhan city, or some, you know, Secretary Pompeo called it Wuhan uh, uh, virus. Uh, it is Wuhan, uh, it originated from that city. You know, churches, especially these, these uh, underground uh, house churches were mobilized. And uh, one uh, kind of a humorous thing God has uh, shown during this pandemic is uh, because everyone is uh, required to wear face masks, right? So those uh, Christians uh, uh, just uh, wearing face masks uh, took to the street and distributing uh, Bibles and uh, gospel tracts and face masks to the uh, passengers. And uh, even the Chinese Communist Party's uh, face recognition camera has a hard time <laughs> to recognize them. So that enables them uh -huh. to spread the gospel and protect other people. And yet the Communist Party start also cracked down against them and confiscated one church alone. They confiscated over like 5 million US dollar worth of uh, medical equipment, PPPs uh, and uh, other, you know, uh, the, the, the face masks, uh, things that they are distributing. Oh, um, I mean, the, that's kind of uh, the, 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 the evil nature uh, shows the the true color of the Communist Party. Yes, yes. Well, that that brings up two questions for me. Um, we are you still here, Bob? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> there you are. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Faith. I think uh, that was a. Uh, a phone call oh, coming in. Uh, yeah, with, uh, that'll happen. In the ordering hey, circumstance, I would uh, turn to the airplane mood, but uh, because uh, <laughs> well, we have to use the uh, internet, so yeah. I couldn't turn off. Yeah, and we're using Zoom, so I guess the the, the Chinese are getting a good good message. Sorry, I, I lost your voice. Maybe. Oh. Let me see. Can you I hear should, me now? Uh, how can I get your voice back? I don't know. Let's see. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. You can hear me now? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I was going to say, since we're on Zoom, the Chinese Communist Party is probably getting some good information from both of us, too. Yeah, they, they have a headquarter in Beijing. <laughs> so and, uh, so a, we'll say, you need Jesus. <laughs> that's right. Uh, we pray for you. We pray yeah, for that's even, right. you know, those persecutors. Yes. So I have a couple of questions. You, you talked about... Uh, um, Z as being uh, the emperor. And I know from hearing um, Gordon Chang speaking too about China, he says that the plan is basically to be the world power, that that's what uh, they have in mind. And I wondered, um, you know, if you think that the crackdown on the church um, is connected to that because they know how powerful the Christians are in China. And if China became a Christian nation um, where it was overwhelmingly Christian, which it already is, but I mean, with people of power in, in Christianity, then that dream of the, uh, the Chinese communist uh, hegemony over the whole world would be gone. Do you think that that's one of the reasons why they're cracking down on Christians so much? Well, absolutely, there is a, a that's that's a major factor. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, besides we know there is a spiritual factor, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the 
the enemy uh, that is controlled spiritually really by the liar the the father of liars of all yeah. liars you know the the devil and um, but on the other hand uh, also this uh, a notion that uh, the the uh, according to Purdue University's projection that uh, you know Right now, the number of Chinese Christians has already reached to over 130 million. Wow, praise And, uh, you know, that's more than 100-fold growth since the Communist Party took power. And uh, now, the, I mean, the new report from Purdue University projected by 2030, uh, even with the slowest growth of Christian faith in China, the number of Christians will definitely reached to 224 million. Wow. So China is destined to become the largest uh, Christianized nation mm. really, you know, in 15 years uh, from now. I mean, actually 10, 10 years or now. So, of course, the, this, uh, the, the, the Communist Party is very scared and uh, because uh, they are representing the darkness. And the, the Christians are the uh, light of the world and we are taught uh, and practicing i mean even under persecution to uh care the vulnerable and uh, and love the elderly and uh, and uh, took care of the orphans and so essentially the communist party uh, does not like christians to do charitable work. I mean, one of our uh, Christian brothers, uh, actually a Chinese American pastor, Pastor John Tao, um, was uh, sentenced to seven years imprisonment for establishing 16 schools mm. for 2,000 children for the minority group uh, in Burma. And, um, you know, so essentially it's a crime uh, to do charity even mm -hmm. in China, like those uh, Wuhan Christians uh, who are, you know, loving uh, those, uh, uh, the, the, their citizens and try to help, and yet they were persecuted. So I think uh, the Christianization, um, according to the experience in Taiwan or especially in South Korea, and even in Singapore, has a direct relevance to democratization. I mean, we're talking about Institute of Religion and Democracy, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there is a direct link uh, between the Christianization and democratization. So China, I think, uh, as China is turning to more Christianized, and the level of uh, democratization is uh, going to be increasing inevitably. Mm -hmm. I think the, the Communist Party, of course, as a, a dictatorship and tyranny, they don't want to see freedom prevails. They don't want to see uh, citizens, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, wants to hold their uh, government accountable and have free, a free vote, you know, uh, free election and to have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. Uh, those freedom really scare those uh, uh, dictators uh, like uh, President Xi Jinping. That's why he was uh, uh, increasingly uh, kind of uh, being alarmist, being uh, so uh, kind of uh, scared. And uh, so that's why he removed the term limit of presidency from uh, by changing the China's constitution. And now he's uh, like a real emperor, uh, you know, declare a, a, a kind of a termless uh, 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 or life uh, president for life, president for life. Uh, but we know his time is numbered mm -hmm. uh, because uh, God is uh, in control. God knows um, you know, the length of your life on this earth. Nobody can declare that because he should know better by comparing to his teacher, Chairman Mao, right? Mm -hmm. Where is Chairman Mao? And when people are, are, are calling him long life Chairman Mao during the Cultural Revolution, or, or thousand years of uh, life. I mean, for many years he has stayed in, on this earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but the Christians are praying, you know, even for this, uh, their persecutors, uh, praying for President Xi Jinping, uh, so that he can repent and uh, really um, 
can uh, rule and, and govern China according to justice and love and care and righteousness, uh, like in the scripture, and, uh, and uh, follow the um, universal values, uh, follow the rule of law. Uh, and um, instead of uh, this uh, ruthless uh, uh, kind of control um, in every areas of uh, citizens' life, and uh, he will bring more misery actually upon himself, upon the Communist Party, upon to the 1.4 billion Chinese people, and now two months ago upon to the whole earth, mm. you know, wow. over over what, like, uh, right. you know, six, uh, some million people, right, uh, mm -hmm. affected and uh, uh, half a million uh, people already almost, I mean, already died. Uh, I mean, the, it, that's, that's really the, the nature, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, we, there's so much to talk about. And uh, uh, it, it's good that we will have lots of time to, to have many more talks like this, because um, what you said uh, about democracy and, and Christianity, um, you know, we even saw that with people like you at Tiananmen Square, who, who, who wanted democracy, but then found that they needed something more. And they, they came to faith, a lot of those Tiananmen Square protesters. Um, and we also need to talk about, again, more of what's happening to both the Christians and to people of other beliefs. Um, but I want to spend our last few minutes um, on, some, on something that, that is an, also a huge threat. We talked about the pandemic, but uh, I mentioned at the beginning this, uh, this uh, uh, effort to stop our, our military and government pensions from being given to Chinese industries. So I wanna just spend our last little bit of time talking about that, but to tell people that uh, we have just had the honor of bringing Bob Fu in as the first adjunct senior fellow of the Institute on Religion and Democracy. So welcome, Bob. We're so happy about this. And I'm thank sure you, everyone... Faith. It's really my honor. Oh, I'm. No, oh, it's our honor. And. This will mean lots of, of these kind of conversations, both by Zoom and hopefully in the near future in person as well, when Bob can get out of Texas and come to DC and we can yeah. all be together in person again. But very quickly, since uh, we don't want to um, take too much longer, but um, we just, uh, IRD just posted uh, an article today um, about the letter that was sent by 134 of us, including some really top military people. Um, I was very happy that three of our Anglican bishops, who are our former combat fighter pilots, um, signed on to that letter, and uh, lots of others warning uh, the president that we need to stop the, the um, uh, thrift savings plan from uh, putting it their, in, their pensions as investments in Chinese industries, including Chinese industries that are building weapons to kill Americans. So what do you think about this, Bob? Well, Faith, thank you for raising that uh, issue. This is so critical. I think we are on the crossroad in the free world. And that um, is one thing we understand the nature of the Chinese Communist Party persecuting its own citizens. Of, uh, you know, all people of faith, including the Uyghur, Muslim, Tibetans, Falun Gong practitioners, and Catholics and uh, Protestants alike. Uh, it's another thing that um, we uh, kind of, uh, as people in the free world, um, kind of uh, continue the, uh, the appeasement uh, uh, on the Communist Party's aggressive policy in the foreign world. I mean, as we have been practicing that in the past 20, 30 years. I think uh, especially since uh, uh, President Bill Clinton's time, uh, you know, China was granted the uh, first, the, uh, the most favored nation status, then into the WTO. I mean, I agree with President Trump's assessment. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party has really ripping the uh, our free world, you know, economically, security, and in many parts. and uh, 
And part of the reason we are to be, la to be blamed, uh, I, I mean, uh, in the free world, we, we, we were sleeping when the Communist Party was doing all this and penetration and aggressively. And uh, so this uh, thrift saving account, in essence, is, uh, you know, is retirement money from our veterans, from military, and uh, you know, uh, civil servants, and trillions, uh, I mean, like, uh, you know, billions of billions of dollars, right? I mean, and uh, we allow this money uh, to uh, kind of fade into the Communist Party's life supply. And we can't do that. This ought to stop. And, uh, and because uh, uh, when, you know, when uh, the pandemic happened, one thing the the intelligence community just released you know the homeland security just released a report this week and uh, with the clear evidence the communist party even at right beginning at the beginning of the pandemic of the communist party virus they already start stockpiling the uh, critical medical supplies and uh, they are now using the so-called face mask and, and PPT uh, kind of uh, uh, diplomacy, holding the world in hostage because 85% of the face mask and the other, you know, even our critical anti, you know, kind of uh, uh, the, the, the kind of uh, um, the medical uh, the supplies and the medicines were uh, manufactured in China. And uh, we can't let the Chinese Communist Party and this evil regime uh, host us uh, uh, hostage. That's why I think Congress should pass legislation to ban all these uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, vicious activities and uh, to uh, get our um, uh, countries back, um, I mean, especially the, the supply chains uh, for critical um, uh, supply items uh, such as medicines, such as uh, you know face masks and uh, and uh, PPTs. So mm -hmm. we we should um, do that and um, so and also cut off you know and stop this uh, feeding uh, our enemy uh, kind of uh, uh, efforts uh, so uh, that uh, we can uh, rebuild our country. Thank you. Yeah, that's very important. Um, We'll talk more about this too, because it's a shame if if the greed of some people in the U.S. businesses and 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 others who have vested interests in China um, uh, are trying to stop this from happening. So, uh, people, please read the article today about the letter that was written to the president. And at the end of the article, there's a list of things that you can do to help with this as well. Um, and and uh, look at, at ChinaAid.org, Bob's website, and find out more about what's happening in China today. And I will be posting the videos that he sent. So you will be, if you look at those, you will be some of the only people in the world who really know what's going on in China. Um, and uh, can I pray for you, Bob, as we close? Thank you. Yeah, before you do that, I uh -huh. need to correct a little bit term. It's uh, oh, called okay. PPE, not PPT. So, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. the personal protection equipment. You know. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had a friend who, who was doing hurricane relief during uh, Hurricane Harvey, and they talked about PPE a lot. So I got got to know yeah. that term I mean, quite a bit. Uh, too you many. Know? Yeah, this uh, similar PPE, terms. Uh, PPE, PPE versus for... CPP versus <laughs> yeah. the TSP, the Thrift Savings right. Plan. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Thank you. So... And uh, yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Very much. Thank you. Oh, Father God, thank you, first of all, that you love us and that all of this is under your control. We praise you and thank you, Lord, for your mercy and for the things that you're doing that we don't even know about. We thank you for those precious Christians in Wuhan and other places in China who are being Jesus to the people around them, even in the prison camps, Lord, who are showing your love and compassion, even to the, the extent of ris risking their own lives and health. Thank you for China Aid and for the work that Bob and his uh, companions have been doing for so long. Bless them, Lord, and prosper them. We ask, Lord, that you would bless the church in China, and we thank you for the good news of how it is expanding. 
protect the people, God, and give them favor even with the government. Let there be conviction in the hearts of those Communist Party members about the truth and what they are doing, and conviction in the, the hearts of those who are trying to now stop President Trump from block, blocking the plan of the Thrift Savings Plan to invest in China. God, we need your help on this, and we know that you will give it. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Bob as our new adjunct senior fellow at IRD, and we pray, God, that you would continue to, to bless all of our, those that we love and to protect those who are listening uh, from the CCP virus. Give us health, God. Give us strength and let us know that it comes from you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Thanks, Faith. Bob. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lord bless. Love to your yeah. family. God bless. Yeah. You too. Yeah, Bye. Please. Bye.